Good morning, everybody. It's Hari Swaminathan from Option Tiger. Wanted to do a quick uh, update on what's going on. Obviously, I think uh, if you're following the futures, today is August 29th. It's a Tuesday and the futures look uh, down big time. Most of it's coming from the uh, missile launch in uh, North Korea over Japan. And that's what is rattling the markets. But of course, we also have the big tragedy in Texas. And so um, now the while this is still going on and obviously loss of uh, life, property, all of that is uh, pr of prime concern. But uh, if you think of what might happen once uh, Harvey moves out of the area, uh, the trade idea, I would say, would be the home builders because uh, almost all of Houston is underwater and what's going to happen is uh, they, they all have to rebuild. And so over the next uh, three to six to nine months, you're going to see some big um, investments into rebuilding. So we're looking at things like Home Depot. So let's say Home Depot is here and uh, this is a three month chart. Let's see a little bit longer and see what's going on. Let's go to six month or even one year daily. And you can see the high has been 160. It's at 151. And already yesterday, you can see it's gone up because in anticipation of uh, investments into the home building. So this is definitely a stock, I think. And you can see the five day is uh, actually under. So it's sort of been bearish, but this is going to go up over the next three to six months. So I would probably look at a six month option and uh, go from there. Let's go see what the options look like uh, on the uh, slightly longer term because this investment cycle is probably going to last uh, until for the next uh, one year probably because uh, the tragedy that's unfolding is uh, um, you know it's mind boggling so you know you can even go to jan you can go to feb you can june might be a little too far but uh, certainly november jan and uh, feb november is too close i think uh, jan or feb would be the ideal one so let's say if you go here and the option prices obviously might be a little high but home depot is not you know, it's not a very volatile stock. You can see it's only 20%. So uh, uh, option prices may not be that high. So it's at 150. So something around 165, 170 would be good. Long calls, call spreads, uh, call calendars, uh, call condors. All of those will make sense. Now, there are a couple of others as well. So the other one is Lowe's. I think it's uh, L-O-W. Yep. And so if you look at the charts for Lowe's, also would be uh, yeah it's bearish i mean so but then again you can see it's starting to bounce up and it just released earnings so for the next uh, three months six months would be a good trade on lows as well so these are two stocks that are definitely going to see an uptick over the three to six to nine month period this investment cycle is probably going to last for uh, many many months so i would say if you're taking an options position certainly this is much more of a longer ter ter term trade than we are generally used to but that's fine i mean you know I mean, you can get some very very good returns with uh, options as we know so uh, you can take advantage of that thanks